So cravings are the biggest thing uh, when we talk about weight loss. So calories in, calories out is very simple process, but there is a lot involved with that. And when I when I talk to patients about uh, weight loss, the first thing uh, which comes to their mind is how to hold back on these cravings. Um, I'm Dr. Nandini Sunkiredi. I'm board certified in family medicine, obesity, and lifestyle. And uh, today we have uh, Rajita Bumakunta here. She is a health coach. Um, she's a certified health coach and a wonderful uh, person, and she does a lot of teaching around this. So we're going to talk to Rajita and see like what we can do to help out with this cravings. Hi, Rajita. Would you mind introducing yourself? Thank you, Dr. Sunki Reddy, for having me here today. Um, uh, as uh, Dr. Sunki Reddy said, I am Rajita Bamkanti, registered nurse. I'm a faith-based holistic coach founder of Healthy You Lifestyle Center, culinary coach, and national um, board certified health and wellness coach. Um, so shoot away. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for the wonderful introduction. Rajita, uh, when I talk to patients, uh, you got to diet, do a diet and you got to do cut back on this, cut back on that. So the first question is how to avoid these cravings. Would you talk to us about a, a little bit about that? Sure. Um, as you said, I know when you know patients come first come, they're always hearing cut back this, cut back that. And they get so frustrated, right? When we are saying cut out, cut out, what am I supposed to eat when I have to cut out everything? Um, first thing I tell my clients is, when you are trying to get into this path of healthy living, first, you have to think about why are you doing this? There is a deep reason, not just because your doctor asked you to, your spouse, your children, or you want to look good, you want to fit into a certain dress. It's much more deeper than that. So that's where you have to pause, sit quietly and understand. What is that deep reason why you want to lose weight or why you want to have a healthy, a healthy body? What is the reason behind that? For example, let me just say, my reasoning behind that is because as I age, I want to be fit. I want to be able to travel with my husband. Um, and I don't want to be dependent on my children. I just want to age gracefully and want to keep my mind sharp. So that is my deep reason. Other than, yeah, looking good and all that kind of comes and goes, right? That's the reason those diets never um, work through, right? After a certain time, people get frustrated and they stop. If we have a reason, so with the cravings, let's say, you know, you have donuts here and apples, what am I going to choose? Donuts look very good. You know, it tastes really good. So first thing is we need to think about, okay, let's say I want to eat donut. Why is that I'm eating this? What is going to happen to me when I eat? What's happening inside my body? Okay, once I eat the donut, it will give me that rush. I feel really good. How will I feel an hour later, two hours later? How is that going to affect my body long-term? So these are some of those questions if we ask ourselves before we pick up that craving. That's one of the huge, huge, you know, understanding the why. That's when, that's when we, we can stop ourselves from doing that. And that doesn't mean cut out everything, okay? What I say is eat 75% of the plate, where 75% of the plate, you have fruits, vegetables, whole grains, beans, legumes, and then 25% comes your cravings. What all you want to eat? That way you still satisfy, you know, after you think about it, you say, no, I still want it. Yeah, sure, you can have it. 
but make sure it's within your 25% of the plate. So that that's how you can try to address those issues. And also before taking a bite, always looking at whatever you're taking a bite into. If it's an apple you have in your hand, okay, understand how does it look? How does it smell? How does it feel? What does it make you make me feel when I consume it? How will I feel? So these are all the questions that will also slow us down from eating, right? Donuts, I can shove it down really fast. It goes in versus apple. It takes me a while to chew and enjoy that. So those are some of the things you can do to work through those cravings. Wow, that's an awesome analogy, Rajita. Seriously, like guys, think about the why, why you want to do it and you get all your answers. And that's an um, awesome analogy. And Rajita, I have several patients who are stress eating. Like, I mean, they use food as a coping mechanism. So what advice you want to give it to give to them? Um, for them first, I would say, understand the reasoning behind your stress. Why are you stressed out? Other than somebody said something, there's a deeper reason. You know, why are you stressed out? Maybe it's not just that one event. Maybe events happen over time because, you know, we accumulate these events throughout the day. All the time it gets accumulated and on then all of a sudden when that folder gets full, and then it will burst open, right? That's when you just get stressed out. And you think, oh, it was so simple. Why did I get so mad or stressed out? Because it was an accumulation of things. So looking at that, what is going on on a daily basis? What, what is my stress level? Why am I getting stressed? Is it because somebody did something? Somebody said something? Then think about it. If somebody did something or said something, you are not happy because they do not react according to how you wanted them to be. Can we make everybody how we want them to be? Is that really possible? No, right? So what do we do? We have to accept people the way they are. So that is a shift. It takes time. Every time you see that then, Maybe at that time you react, then later on you need to pause and think, what happened to that? Why did I react that way? So over time, you can understand the reasoning behind stress. So if you understand the root cause, the reasoning behind stress, you're not going to go for food as a comfort for you. You will work through that. Right. Yeah, that's 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 definitely the uh, reason behind. Uh, yeah, knowing the reason behind stress can help you a whole lot for sure. And Rajita, my my question to you is like a lot of people, even though they are like in control of uh, of the cravings, when they go for parties or when someone is visiting them uh, or uh, their own family, like I mean, trying to uh, do this peer pressure, like I mean, hey, why are you not eating? This is wonderful. Are you trying to do this? Are you trying to diet? I mean, these are all the questions, and like I mean, it's hard to get into. It's hard to surpass that peer pressure. And what advice would do you want to give for those patients? Um. Okay. Now you know during the holiday time we are all going to parties and all that, right? So there's a lot of peer pressure and the food around. That's also tempting. So before even going to the party, eat food at home, and then when you go there, that will be your twenty five percent of your plates. So you're not saying no, right? You already ate your healthy meal, you know, you consume a lot of fruits, vegetables, beans, that's a lot of fiber, right? You're full. So by the time you go there and start socializing with people, you can still live, nibble in, but at the same time, you're not going to fill your plate up with all of that food. So you're only going to consume a little bit 
that can be counted as your 25% of your plate because you already ate and you're full. Yeah, that, that's that's a really good uh, way to cut back on uh, peer pressure for sure. <laughs> yeah, that, I am so glad we are doing this. And thank you so much, Rajita, for letting us know all these tips and tricks. And definitely, guys, like try, try to follow Rajita's advice on the 75 and 25 because there is a body's hedonic drive. That's what we call the, the more you cut back on this food, the, your brain makes you have that. So that's called the hedonic drive of the brain. And, um, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Style Your Health MD. And uh, don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Style Your Health MD. And if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, send me an um, e email at styleyourhealthmd at gmail.com. Thank you so much. And please comment. Please let us know how we are doing with the videos. Thank you.